Stop looking at your hair as just a cosmetic feature. It is an evolutionary receipt. Every strand on your head is a biological record of how your ancestors survived specifically brutal environments thousands of years ago. Whether your hair falls flat, spirals out, or kinks up toward the sun, it is not a fashion statement. It is a piece of high-performance survival gear engineered by thousands of years of mutation and natural selection. By the end of this video, you are going to understand exactly why your hair behaves the way it does, the specific genetic code that engineered it, and how your specific hair texture was originally designed to save your life. Let's start with straight hair. If you have straight hair, you need to hear this. You are technically a mutant. And I mean that in the coolest way possible. See, for the vast majority of human history, straight hair simply didn't exist. Early humans lived in hot, equatorial climates, so they developed curly or coily hair to lift off the scalp, allow airflow, and protect their heads from the blazing sun. Basically built-in air conditioning. But about 65,000 years ago, as humans began migrating out of Africa and moving into freezing, snowy environments, a specific genetic mutation occurred. Nature looked at the cold and decided you needed a scarf. Your hair straightened out specifically to lie flat against your neck and trap body heat to keep you alive during the Ice Age. So your hair isn't just plain or standard, it is a specialized survival machine designed for extreme conditions. Because of this fascinating evolutionary history, straight hair has a mechanical structure that gives you superpowers that other hair types can only dream of. It all comes down to what I call the sebum highway. Your scalp produces natural oils to keep your hair healthy, and on curly textures, that oil gets stuck at the roots because the path is winding and twisting. But on your straight strands, it is a straight, fast slide all the way down. This is exactly why you have the natural ability to be the shiniest, glossiest hair type in the room. While other people have to buy expensive serums and oils to fake that glow, your hair naturally auto-moisturizes from root to tip. You also have the ultimate wake-up-and-go texture. You don't need a complex, refreshing routine or hours of styling to leave the house. Usually, a quick brush is all it takes for you to look polished. However, having a super efficient oil highway does come with a price, and I know you feel this struggle every day. Because those natural oils travel so fast, you are fighting a constant battle against gravity and grease. You might wash your hair in the morning and feel fresh, but by 5 p.m., it can look flat and oily, making you best friends with dry shampoo. You also face the volume struggle. Since your hair evolved to lay flat and keep you warm, it refuses to stand up. Getting volume at the roots is tough, and if you try to curl it, good luck. You probably know the pain of spending an hour curling your hair, only for it to slide right out and be straight again 20 minutes later because your strands are just too silky to hold a grip. And let's not forget static electricity. Because your hair is lighter and finer, one winter sweater can make you look like a science experiment. But despite the battle for volume, don't let anyone tell you straight hair is boring. It is actually a highly evolved trait that gives you a glass-like shine that people pay hundreds of dollars in chemical treatments to replicate. You have the kind of effortless, silky texture that has been coveted for centuries. So wear it proud. You are basically walking around with nature's best insulation technology and it looks great on you. Now, let's pivot to the complete opposite end of the spectrum. Coily hair. If straight hair is a heat trap, coily hair is a highly advanced cooling system. This texture evolved as a specialized response to the intense, direct solar radiation of sub-Saharan Africa. The challenge here was contradictory. Early humans needed to protect their brains from the scorching sun, but they also needed to dump body heat efficiently to avoid heat stroke. A solid mat of straight hair would have been disastrous because it traps heat against the skin. Coily hair solved this engineering problem with geometry. Coily hair grows from an elliptical, almost kidney bean-shaped follicle, which forces the keratin to exit at a sharp angle. 
As it grows, the hair twists around itself in tight, spring-like coils. This structure creates something remarkable, loft. Coily hair naturally stands up and away from the scalp, rather than lying flat against it. This creates a breathable zone, a buffer of air between the top of the hair and the surface of the scalp. This air gap is critical. It allows the wind to flow through the hair to cool the scalp, while the density of the coils acts as a parasol, blocking UV rays from ever hitting the skin. It is the only hair type that provides maximum sun protection with maximum airflow. The biology of coily hair is also optimized for moisture management, but in a very different way than straight hair. Because of the tight zigzag pattern, sebum cannot travel down the shaft easily. It gets stuck at the twists and turns near the root. This is why coily hair tends to be drier at the ends. However, this lack of oil distribution was an evolutionary advantage in a hot environment. Heavy oils trap heat. By keeping the hair shaft relatively free of heavy oils, coily hair remains light and airy, maintaining that crucial thermal buffer. The structure itself is highly elastic. The helix shape acts like a spring, allowing the hair to absorb physical impact without snapping. This mechanical resilience was vital for preventing scalp abrasion in abrasive environments. However, biologically, coily hair is the most fragile when manipulated because every twist in the hair strand represents a point of structural weakness where the cuticle is slightly lifted. This makes the hair prone to breakage if combed aggressively, yet incredibly strong when resisting compression. Between these two extremes, we find wavy hair. Wavy hair is the evolutionary midpoint, likely emerging as human populations migrated out of extreme heat and into temperate zones where the climate fluctuated. It is the jack-of-all-trades texture. Wavy hair grows from a follicle that is oval, not round like straight hair, and not flat like coily hair. This oval shape produces a fiber that has a natural undulation, forming a loose S pattern. This structure represents an evolutionary compromise. The waves provide some loft, allowing for better airflow than straight hair, which is useful during warm summers. The oil distribution in wavy hair is also intermediate. Sebum travels down the shaft, but usually stalls around the mid-length. This creates a unique moisture gradient where the roots are protected and oily, but the ends remain drier and more susceptible to the elements. This partial coating allows wavy hair to respond dynamically to humidity. You have probably noticed that wavy hair gets frizzier in humid weather. This is due to hydrogen bonds. In an evolutionary sense, this reactivity allowed the hair to change its texture slightly based on the weather, expanding to offer more coverage in damp conditions and settling down in dry ones. The genetics of wavy hair are polygenic, meaning it isn't controlled by a single on-off switch, but by the interaction of multiple genes this genetic blending suggests that wavy hair might be the result of populations mixing, a biological byproduct of human dispersal across the globe. It effectively bridges the gap between the need for heat retention and the need for heat dissipation. Then we have curly hair. It is crucial to distinguish curly from coily. While coily hair creates a zigzag, curly hair forms a definite spiral or corkscrew. This develops from a curved follicle that has an uneven distribution of keratin types on the inside versus the outside of the curve. This internal tension forces the strand to spin as it grows. Curly hair offers a distinct sensory advantage. The spirals act like whiskers or antennae. Because the hair stands out from the scalp in a springy formation, it creates a sensory perimeter. In dense vegetation or environments with insects, Curly hair can detect contact before it reaches the skin. The springiness also acts as a shock absorber. If you bump your head, the curls compress and recoil. Biologically, curly hair regulates temperature by creating a chaotic airspace. Unlike the organized tunnel of straight hair or the lofted mat of coily hair, curly hair creates irregular pockets of air. 
This is particularly effective in humid, tropical environments where sweat evaporation is difficult. The curls keep wet hair from plastering to the neck and scalp, allowing air to circulate and help dry the skin, preventing fungal infections and bacterial growth that thrive in warm, moist conditions. It is a texture designed for environments that are hot but wet, requiring a balance of protection and ventilation. Now let's go beyond hair shape and talk about hair thickness. Both types have different advantages and disadvantages. Thick hair is built tough. Each strand is wider and stronger, so it doesn't break easily and can handle more pulling and friction. Because there's more hair material overall, thick hair holds warmth better. That made it useful in colder, windy environments where keeping heat mattered. Thick hair also feels heavier and more protective. Fine hair works very differently. The strands are thinner, lighter, and more flexible. This makes fine hair dry faster and release heat more easily, which helps in warm or humid climates. Fine hair also moves more easily, making the scalp more sensitive to touch and airflow. It may look delicate, but it's actually efficient and low maintenance for hot conditions. When you combine thickness with shape, patterns appear. Fine, curly hair helps block sunlight while releasing heat. Thick, straight hair helps trap warmth and block cold wind. Wavy, medium hair sits in the middle, adapting well to changing climates. Even graying hair follows biology. As pigment fades, hair often becomes rougher and drier because that pigment also helped keep strands smooth. Aging literally changes how your hair is built. So your hair isn't random. It's a survival tool shaped by environment. What kind of setup are you carrying? Drop your hair type in the comments. And if this helped you understand your biology a little better, hit like so we can keep decoding the human body.